Hello, and welcome to another YouTube video. I'm Massimo from Blue Root, and today what I'm going to be talking about is webhooks. It's something a lot of people ask us about. It's a buzzword, and I just want to spend a little bit of time explaining what that actually means. So webhooks are a way of communicating data from one software to another. Uh, so it there usually has to be code in between to ingest the webhook. But think of it like this. Um, if you want to send data from CRM to your accounting software or from CRM to your marketing software on an instant action, webhook is probably the best way to do that. The best way to think about it is based on an action in the CRM, you change the deal type, you change the deal name, the stage, the amount, whatever the action may be, you can actually webhook data instantly into another software and, and so that's the best way to think of it and it's very common so now let's look at how to set up a webhook because in zoho there i'm going to specifically revolve around the crm there's other ways to do it but the crm is probably the easiest and best so you're going to go ahead under automation and go to workflow rules then i'm just going to create a new one and i'm going to create one let's say in the deal module so you may want to create it elsewhere but i'm going to do it here And I'm going to hit next. And so now if you've watched our other videos on how to actually set up a workflow, you'll know what I'm showing here. But I'm just going to go through this and I'm going to say, okay, on record action, on edit, when a specific field is edited, and I'll say the stage. And I'm going to say it's modified to the value of proposal sent, for example. I'm going to say all deals. Then you can see all the way down here that there is an area for webhooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this. Now, we have a number of them, but I'm gonna create a new one. And so now you need to go through a few steps here. And the webhooking is a bit confusing, uh, but the first step is easy. Just name it. So I'm gonna say send data to accounting software. Great. The second piece, which is really important, is whatever this software may be, should have an endpoint. So it should have a URL that you're gonna throw the data at. And that URL has to be special. There has to be like a server behind it or something behind it to read the data you're sending. So apps like Zapier or apps like Zoho Flow, uh, other apps like that will give you URLs, right? And so I'm just gonna put a random one here, uh, for example, but you should copy paste that URL from that specific web app. If you're sending data, use post. If you're getting data, use get. Now, for this example, I'm gonna use post. I'd also recommend you put a description of what you're doing. And now for the fun part, what do you wanna send? You're gonna hit standard format. That's the most common one. In this video, we're not gonna go into this other stuff. But now you're gonna say, okay, what do I wanna send? So you can see here, you can choose the module you're sending from. Typically, it's modules attached to the deal and then out-of-box modules like users, organization, etc. So if I choose deals, then I'll choose the field I want to send. So I'm going to say deal name. Now you have to name it something. So this parameter name is very important because this is what will show up in the other software. And this is what the code needs to ingest. It doesn't care about the value. I mean, well, it does, but it's going to read the name. And how I'd recommend doing it, like you cannot do this. No spaces. Not cool. You can do this if you want. What I recommend is what's called camel case. So every word has a capital, hence the camel. Um, but it's up to you, but no space. And so you go through this and start sending some fields. So you'll be like, okay, and also from the account, I wanna send the account name. I would recommend, this is a little tidbit, in all of these integrations, always send the ID, just in case, because that's how you update things back in the CRM. And I'll send the deal ID as well. Now you go through all of this, you can hit preview URL, and essentially this kind of helps you understand what a webhook does. You can see here, it takes my URL that I put, it puts a question mark, which is what web languages understand as, okay, look after the question mark for the parameters. Parameter, value, parameter, value, and they separate it with an ampersand. So that's, um, that's what will be sent to that URL. And then when that URL catches it, it now knows, okay, look for the question mark, 
grab the first parameter and the value and the second parameter and the value. So that's essentially what web hooking is. You put a bunch of parameters on the end of a web URL and hook it into someone else's. Now you'd hit save. Now it's going to get mad at me because the URL is incorrect. So this is a good hint if you've misspelled something or whatever. But once you hit save and put it in the workflow rule, you now have data sending to another software when a, de when a deal hits stage proposal sent. So I hope this helps. I hope it makes sense. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe um, and uh, see you in the next video.